This is McCooks, Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. Buyer beware. Those words have been around for a long, long time, but they're still prevalent today. So to you, buyer beware of whatever you might be uh, ascertaining to consider purchasing. Let's talk about it, okay? A gentleman on the east side of the state of Nebraska, a city boy, had money and he decided he wanted to invest in property out in southwest Nebraska. So he bought 900 acres of pasture land. Pasture land. And that ground he purchased last year, that ground uh, was of course in the middle of this drought that we've been having. And so the grass was already short, no question. And he had the seller uh, signed in a contract saying, okay, I'm going to uh, allow you to stay till December, but then you have to get your cattle off before the end of December. Agreements were signed and it was done and he owned said property. But being on the east side of the state, not getting out here very often, you know, and he didn't have to worry about it because he was sure the guy was credible and would get his cattle off. And so January, February, March, and April before he finally came out and seeing how bad it is because it hadn't rained yet and he was worried that you know it might have to even wait a year to put cattle on that because it had it was already short and he's hoping that a rain would push it up so he could put cattle on it maybe even this summer maybe but when he got out here the seller still had his cattle on it for those four months and had eaten it into the ground because he hadn't supplemented the food to them cattle and they had almost nothing left to eat and they were still there so contacting the seller they said if you don't like what we're doing sue us well okay so he hired a lawyer and his first check to the lawyer just to start was fifty thousand dollars and of course you'll be suing for most of a half a million dollars a half a million and so who knows who's going to win though and it'll take years to go through the courts and that's a nightmare because he didn't have the guys checked out that you know their past history of dealings with other people talk to people that know them and have known them for some time that kind of thing to see if they're reputable if they're reputable the second story isn't much different this guy was in the eastern part of the United States and wanted to invest out here in the middle of America in rural America and he liked the idea of pasture land and so he bought 1500 acres of pasture ground out here and did the contracts and everything with the seller and the uh, again knowing full well that we're in the middle of a, a drought but he bought said ground and it had a nice really nice corral, barn, shed, stuff like that, and a nice fence wrapped around it. Yeah, it was a good quality piece of ground as far as that goes. So, he finally got time to come out and take a second look at it, and some months later, and all of the fence had been taken out. All of the corral had been disassembled and taken away. All of the barns and sheds had been disassembled and taken away. All he had left was an empty piece of ground. Estimates around $300,000 plus. $300,000 plus at the bare bones minimum to replace and get something that's functional on that property. So yes, he has now hired a lawyer to sue the uh, seller and again will probably take years to get through the court system it's a nightmare out there if you don't know what you're doing or if you assume that you're dealing with good people and you don't have them checked out buyer beware